excuse the the clothes I am ready for work but I thought that I would throw in another video for you today I um, got a haul oh, a few days ago that this was the last of the money that I saved out from from my rummage sale so now I am broke again until payday <laughs> Even my tips are gone because I had to buy some groceries yesterday. Jeez. So, so you know, and then I feel like such a fool afterwards because I should have saved out more money for incidentals until I get paid. I don't get paid until the 10th. So hopefully I get tips before then. <laughs> but um, I saved out enough money for my rent, plus I put a little bit in my savings that I'm not touching. So, my rent is covered for this coming month. So, anyway, let's start out with, um, I got just a couple of things from um, Amazon, and then I got an Alta haul. So, these are my Amazon hauls, and the first thing would be the screen behind me. And it is a three-panel screen. I really wish I would have got a four-panel so it would fit better behind me. But this here just does not work it, I have to sit it so close behind me, and then I can't move. And I, excuse me, I don't like that. I like to be able to, you know, get up if I want to or whatever. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. <laughs> and um, so I just have it sitting so it covers what I want it to cover, and it just has a, a bit of my wall and the bed is all. So it's not a big deal for me. So anyway, the second thing I got was I on recommendation on people from YouTube to use Zoat Soap for cleaning my brushes. So I bought three bars of Zoat Soap. Look how long they are. They're really long. Um, I haven't tried any. They smell good, though. So I'm going to try it. You know, if nothing else, I'll use it for something else. So, okay. The next thing is I hardly ever drank water. Matter of fact, I don't have room for an ice cube tray in my freezer. I have to clean my freezer out so I can get a couple ice cube trays in it. Um, so it'll fit in here. I figured this cup would make me drink more water. I'm going to take it to work with me today. I'm going to fill it with ice and water and drink this while I'm at work today. I'm going to not drink pop anymore because I drink a lot of pop while I'm at work. And I'm going to, I'm trying to cut down on that, um, to one bottle a day. Usually I drink, you know, in the summertime, I probably drink two bottles a day, which in the wintertime, probably one, but I'm going down to even try to even drink less than a bottle a day, but I'm going to, um, they say that you should drink half your body weight. So I should drink, um, a hundred and hundred and. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to say 120. I have no idea how much I even weigh. I know I, I weigh probably about 230 or 240. So I'm going to take this down to, uh, or I'm going to try to drink uh, 120 ounces. This is a 52 ounce. So if I fill this up, like, well, at least twice, I think, well, you know, I'd be happy with twice a, of this a day. So that, that will help curb my appetite it will help keep me hydrated all that kind of stuff and whatever but it's got the the rubber straw up here it's got um just a hole here if i if i don't want like the straw i'll see this is this just locks up and it's also i saw today it says this is a bottle opener right here wait right here see that it's a bottle opener isn't that weird okay so that is my Amazon haul here is my Ulta haul and then I want to visit a little bit okay so the first thing I got almost everything in here first of all let's go with this stuff almost everything in here was a buy one get one at least 50% off um, there was a couple things where I got a or one one thing for sure I got a free thing with plus it was buy one get one okay so my perfume samples I decided to get perfume samples because every time I go for a variety I get the same exact things every time so anyway this is Jimmy Choo Illicit 
And this one is Jimmy Choo Odie Parfum. Ugh. Maybe it's just called Jimmy Choo. It must be. This is this is the first Jimmy Choo fragrance. Fruity Chiper. It's okay, I like perfume samples, so but I like the ones that you can spray. I don't really like the ones that you have to take the lid off of. Okay, so let's try to get this together here. Um, I just realized I must have goofed up here. Okay, this is silly. All right, let's go with this first. This is, um, if you saw my haul the other day, you saw that I got a um, Garnier micellar water, but this time I got, and that was the regular. This one is the waterproof. I just wanted to try these, and the micellar, the other one, works pretty good. I have to work really work at it to get my a lot of my eye makeup off, though, so I think this will be better for that when I'm wearing waterproof stuff, which I was. Okay, so I got that. I got, uh, th I swear this is the last that I'm going to buy. <laughs> this is the uh, Catrice. Cosmetics Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel and it is does it say what color it is? I'm thinking they had two colors and I got the darker of the two because the other one looked pretty blonde. Anyway, let's see here. This is what that is. I wasn't going to open it, but I I'm going to, and it's got a very nice, very nice, um, I could just tell when it came out, it's really soft, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, that I really like their wand. Oh, maybe it says here what color it is. It doesn't. Drives me crazy when they do that. Okay, so the next things I got... This is a this is a Garnier, and I had to you know buy one get one. Um, this is the Clearly Brighter Brightening and Smoothing Daily Moisturizer, and it is oil free, broad spectrum SPF 15. Um, it says it's clinically proven results in one week reveal two key dimensions of brighter looking skin uh, radiant more even skin tone improved skin texture even reduces wrinkles women agreed 90 percent were satisfied overall 91 said skin looked visibly healthier and at its best I'm gonna try this okay so Clinique. Buy one, get one. Hmm. This is Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. If I can get it open, there we go. Okay, so I guess you just pour this on a pad or something. So that is what that is. And I got some of Clinique foundation. This is the Clinique Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Evens and Corrects. And I got it in 02 Fair. Take it out of here and show you. This is what it looks like. Now 
not real happy that it doesn't have a pump, but this, this works. But I will be trying that maybe this weekend for you. Okay. Okay, so this here is, I got an eyebrow tamer, Kardashian Beauty, brow management gel. And this is Brow Wow 383. Again, no frickin' color. But this is what that looks like. Let me lay down my other stuff. This is the last I'm going to buy of this stuff, I promise. I mean, it is crazy. Okay, so that is what this one looks like. And this one looks pretty dark, so we will see. Okay. But I'm excited to use these because you know how much how crazy I am about this stuff. Okay, the next thing I got was an eye to eye Kardashian Beauty Eye Primer and Shadow Duo. And I'm kind of excited about this. I looked at this and it looks kind of cool to me. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And this side is the eye primer. See, it's just very, it's just really clear. Okay. And this is the eye shadow. Very pretty gold. Very pretty. And I, I did um, swatch these on my hands. I'm not going to swatch anything because I have to go to work. But, um, come on here. What's going on? Maybe I got the wrong lid on the wrong And I have cat hair all over me. I have no idea how I got cat hair on me. Okay, that works. Okay, so anyway, that is that. Um, I'm going to put everything back in here because I need to take a picture of it before I do anything else. Oh, and Kardashian Beauty. Oh, I'm not done anyway. I'm, I'm flighty today. Very flighty today. Okay, so the next thing I got was an eyeshadow palette from Kardashian Beauty. This is Touch Tones Gradient Eye Color Set. And it kind of shows you on the back there what to do. I'm trying to get it open. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's got a long thing, you know, which is not a bad thing. But uh, this is very pretty. This is the first time I've had this open, but look at the gradients. Isn't that gorgeous? And then these two here are matte. There's the only two mattes in there. The rest of them are all, gray, all shimmer. I can think of a lot of things to do. I might use this next week. We'll see. Okay, and then this was free with purchase. And I'm not going to open this because I'm probably going to give it away. I'm not real sure, though, because I'm thinking eyeshadows with this. Look at that. That's a bronzer. But look at those colors. Wouldn't those three colors be pretty on the eye? What do you guys think? Should I use that as eyeshadows or should I pass it on? You tell me. But the packaging's really pretty, the gold. But this was free with purchase. Okay. So the last three things I got, I found some Katy Perry lipsticks. And this is Katy Perry Cover Girl. Um, the first one, I am not going to swatch these. I'm very sorry. But like I said, I have to go to work. This first one is Katori Trico Griffiths which I have no idea what that means. Can somebody tell me? And this is kind of a brownie mauve, I would think. It's very pretty, though. Okay, this is kind of the color that it shows. All right, the next one is... This is the Sphinx. And these are Katy Perry matte, by the way. 
And this one here is a very pretty nudie color. Very pretty. I'm kind of getting into my nudes a little bit, if they're the right colors. And then the last one is Katy Perry, which is very popular, I believe. And this is kind of a purpley mauve color. Kind of a purple mauve. It's very gorgeous, though. But that is my Ulta haul and my small Amazon haul. There, I just got to thinking there is one more thing that I ordered from Amazon. It's just a small thing that I will show you when it comes, um, but it did not come yet. So it's just a very inexpensive, kind of a fun thing that I saw on Facebook one day, so I ordered it. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will talk to you very soon. Oh, I wanted to visit with you. Let's see what time it is first. Okay. I made a hard decision. Um, you know, I just started my job. I've worked a full week is all I've worked so far. Growing pains are horrible in this job. Horrible. They are. There are so many bad reviews for this because their food is taking so long. Their food is cold by the time they get it. They've, they're waiting two hours for their food. Um, you know, and this isn't a big city. This is a, you know, a supper, like a supper club kind of deal. Um, you know, in a 16,000 people or something like that town. You know, it's not huge. So it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, it's even taking them a half an hour to get their drinks. And that's unacceptable in my book. Plus, the casino, nobody wants to go in there and gamble. I mean, it is so boring. You would not believe how boring it is. And they're letting us go early. So we're not getting the 32 hours that they promised us. They are, you know, there's one girl that, that she got to work three hours the other day when she was supposed to work seven. She One day she worked 49 minutes out of a three-hour shift. You can't make it on that. Um, I've been helping out on the floor and on in the bar. So they've been sharing my tips with me a little bit. Plus, I've gotten a few tips, you know, in the casino, but they, they aren't tipping like they thought they would. And I knew they wouldn't. I knew that they, you know, I know how they tip in this town, and they don't tip that well. I mean, you know, in a place like that. So anyway, I decided to leave my job. But I got another job first. Um, one of the bartenders there is leaving also and going to the same place that I'm going. And she told me about this. So I um, Facebooked this guy. Or, you know, I got a hold of him on Facebook, the owner of the, the place. And he said, come talk to me. You know, I kind of sold myself a little bit. And he said, come talk to me. Because he really needed a good person for days. And this is in a bar. It, um, there's, there's a bar on this side, then in the center, and then there's a bar on this side. He owns both. In the center is this long, um, space that's got a bunch of tables in it. It's got a bar, or a bandstand in it for bands on the weekend. It's got, like, a basketball hoop. It's got those, um, toss things, those, um, beanbag toss, maybe, is that what they're called? Those kind of things, and, um... Anyway, that's right in the center of this. So, I'm going to be the daytime bartender. I am going to um, cook. They said, you know, I don't make as much per hour. I make quite a bit less per hour. But he says the tips make up for it because the tips are awesome. And um, what I don't... I, I don't know how to explain this. But he said... And everybody that I've talked to that works there said the tips are awesome during, you know, because you're serving all this food. And I cook the food, too. And uh, so I will be working, like, you know, a couple of days, 11 to 5. Um, set. I'll be working. The only thing is I'll be working every weekend, but that's okay. You know, it's not like I have a life. <laughs> But, like, on Saturdays, I'll work 8 hours. I'll work 10 to 6. On Sundays, I'll work 11 to 6. Um, on Wednesdays and Fridays, I will work 11.30 to 
over the lunch hour, and that will boost me up to um, full-time status. Otherwise, it's not quite full-time. And so, you know, and then if, if somebody would call in sick or they need extra help, like um, we have a lot, we have parade days that they're very busy. I could work extra hours those days. Um, you know, so they, I, it very easily go up to 40 hours every week. He doesn't like to pay overtime, so he won't let me work over 40. But, you know, I could get another eight hour day in and, and be happy. Um, plus I'll be cooking, like I said, you know, and, and the tips are very good, they said. So I am going to start tomorrow. Um, my actual hours start on the 11th, but he wants me to go in on Wednesday and Fridays to work those two days to get the lay of the land and learn the kitchen, you know, learn how it is on those busy days. So anyway, I've got a new job. I don't know if I'm going to give him my notice. I'm going to talk to the other girl. And see, our our um, manager at where I'm at now um, has turned out to be not a real nice person. And I've heard that somebody told me that don't give your notice too soon because she will say, well, we don't need you the rest of the week. And I've got a full schedule this week. So I want to work through Friday night, and then I have the weekend off. And... You know, if I can just work through Friday night and be done or work, you know, a few days next week, I'll be happy with that. But I don't want to give my notice tonight and then she say, we don't need you anymore. Then I lose out on all those hours. So, um, I need to talk to the other girl to see what her opinion is. You know, just kind of, because she's not going to give her notice till Friday. So I'm thinking that's probably what I need to do, too. I don't like to go without any leaving any notice. You know, like a two-week notice. I don't like doing that. But um, the people I've talked to think that that's probably best at this place. So anyway, I will let you guys go. Let me know what you think. Give me your opinions on, you know... Do you think I'm too old for this to be working in a bar as a bartender and, and a, you know, a cook? Um, I don't. I think it's a perfect job for me because he gave me a chance. I've had a bad work history. I've had um, my credit isn't good. A lot of places check your credit now. I've got a little bit of a criminal history. Um, and he just, he doesn't care about that. He cares that I am always on time. I show up for work, and I do a good job. That's what he cares about, and I can promise him that, that I will do that. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Give me your opinions. Tell me what you think. Bye-bye.